Hey guys, what's up? Comic books have been around since, like, I don't know, the 40s and 50s, and while a lot of them are superhero based, and a lot of them are other stories and whatever kind of stories that they have, um, a lot of them really aren't that great, but a lot of them are really, really, really good. So here are like some of the best comic book long running series of all time that are really, really worth reading that you'll probably enjoy. And these are not like the, you know, like a few comics that came out, like from one, say like comic book from one till 10. These are like more of the long running series that are in trade paperback form with a lot and a lot of content. And they were basically going, you know, coming out for years. And there's a lot of that, there's a lot to that story and it's worth getting into. And they're very bingeable at this point, sort of like, that Netflix series that has like 10 seasons and you watch like the first episode and I have to watch like all 10 seasons of it. It's sort of like that. And the first one I want to talk about is Neil Gaiman's Sandman. And Sandman is an interesting, interesting story. Neil Gaiman is an English uh, author, writer, and he's been writing comic books and novels for a really, really long time. It's all he does. He's just a writer. And a lot of his stuff is fantasy or weird or otherworldly or unusual or anything very, very imaginative. That's full of imagination and full of, it's really, really well written and it's full of like a lot of interesting things and characters and even the art is really, really good in this comic book. And so these are the trade paperbacks you can get of this story. There come in like 10 of them basically. And you know, you just, you just buy one at a time. You're not gonna buy all 10 of them at the same time, right? I would say like get the first one. The thing about the first, the, 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 the Neil Gaiman, um, the Sandman one was that when I read the first one, I didn't really get into it. I was like, eh, I didn't think I liked it that much, right? And so I, I kept hearing how great the series is and how great from a lot of people. And I was just like, okay, well, all right, let me give it another shot. So I, I read the second trade paperback and I got into it. And then I read the rest of them. And it's pretty good up till the eighth trade paperback and like, the ninth and 10th trade paperbacks, I think, aren't as good as the rest of them, but they're still worth reading. They're still pretty, pretty good. But um, Neil Gaiman's Sandman. So what is this about? It's about the Sandman. It's about Dream of the Eternal, I think it is. Like, yeah, Dream of the Eternals. And Dream is a, is, is a personification of dreams. And he's a character in the story. So he's basically king of the dream world, you know, king of dreams. And he's... He's Dream, and they call him Dream Morpheus. And so um, it's, got, it's got him, it's got all these other characters that are with him. And they're like, they're not, they're, they're, they're people, but they're like sort of like essences of different things. There's gluttony, there's delirium, there's, um, there's the devil, which actual Lucifer, where they're, you know, where there's an actual hell, and there's a story about that. It's really, really interesting, and there's, I don't think there's an envy, but it's really interesting about these characters and who they are and uh, their stories and it's got a lot of stories about people and it's got like a lot of different stories and what, what I like about it is that the characters are the same but it's not repetitive and the stories are different the stories are new and the stories keep coming out with new original stuff every time you read a comic you don't feel like they're redoing the redoing the same thing like if you ever watch the 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 series Merlin, you know, it, yes, I like that kind of thing and that kind of genre and, you know, I like the King Arthur stories and whatever and the Camelot and all that stuff, the Lancelot stories and Merlin, but what they did with that series, I felt like, was they made it repetitive. Yes, the characters had their own personality, but their the personality interactions were the same from series to sit from episode to episode and I felt like it was a very very it was like more of a sitcom or a situation drama um rather than actual and interesting and original series that's, that's just my opinion about that um Sandman you can't you, you probably will like this. this this is really really good and I'm just gonna say there's tons of content in here um the art is good you know the art is pretty good but um it changes from, the art changes from, this is the cover, um, the art changes from, from artist, artist, because the constant of this is, Neil Gaiman is the constant of this, um, of this series, but the artists uh, kept changing. So you're going to get a lot of different kinds of art, depending on, you know, whatever, whatever it is. The next one I want to talk about is Hellblazer, and this one is a longer running series than um, John Constantine's Hellblazer. This is a longer running series than um, 
than Sandman. Sandman has 10 issues. Uh, this one has like 30 trade paperbacks. Yes, I've read all of them. I think I've read all of them, unless there, there's some of them that I just couldn't get and they weren't available and I wasn't able to get them. Um, and so, yeah, you know, yeah, I've, I've pretty much read all of them. Um, they're fantastic. They're basically about John Constantine, who's a, he's a, um, a modern day occultist, like a modern day wizard. Obviously, like the, the, the art is dark in here and everything. Um, and there was a series that came out, a TV series based on Constantine. There was also a movie with Keanu Reeves based on Constantine called Constantine. But the comic is called a Hellblazer or John Constantine Hellblazer. And it is a trip through like an alternate universe that's partly today's world and partly the supernatural, partly uh, the magical world, everything that that's sort of like otherworldly, sort of like um, fantasy. You know, there's monsters, there's spirits, there's ghosts, there's magic, there's sorcerers, there's magicians, there are creatures, there, there's all different kinds of beings. There's, I, I think there's angels and devils, I'm not sure, there's demons and angels. There's all different kinds of beings and creatures. Um, and basically it's, it's about the story of John Constantine, who is a, an occultist, basically. He's a modern-day wizard. And, you know, it's got the drama between him and, and the, his friends. He's got some good friends. Other, he's got other people that like, that, like, know him and that hate him and stuff like that. They don't trust him anymore. That wherever he goes, trouble follows, and that's why they don't want to be around him. Because he's just so, con you know, he's connected with this, like, to all these demons and, you know, supernatural entities that always create a bunch of mischief for everyone that's around him and stuff like that. Um, the, the, the art is good. Like, the cover art of these things are fantastic. Um, the actual comic book art is, it's good. I mean, it, it's, it's comic book art. You know, it's, it's, it's also different based on, now the thing about, like, uh, Constantine is the writers are different from a lot of these, from, from book to book, seri uh, episode to episode, or well, book to book, or, like, comic to comic, the writers are different. And also the artists are different. So you're going to get a lot of different stories based on the writers and how they write. But they're writing a story about Constantine. Whereas like um, Sandman was written and uh, the whole idea came from Neil Gaiman. With John Constantine, it's got a lot of different artists and writers for that comic. It's like a character sort of like Batman who uh, just one person does not just write Batman. It's been like you know, 20, 30, 50 or more people that write about Batman. It's a character, it's the character, but depending on who writes it and who draws it, you're gonna get a different effect from the comic book. The one I also wanna recommend is Heavy Metal Magazine. Heavy Metal Magazine is not a, um, a, a story or a certain character or anything like that, but the reason I, I wanna bring this up as a long-running series is this magazine has been coming out since 1977 and consistently has made amazing, amazing story. These are mostly short stories in um, short stories in comic book form. And it's just like, and, and, and the thing is about this is uh, most of the time, the stories are really good. Yes, there are some magazines and sometimes where the stories aren't good, but the art in here, when this is good, it's really good. The art in here is amazing. The cover art is always great. And um, usually the people that they have writing for these stories and everything are the best story writers and the best artists and comic book artists of all time, of the modern age. So while not, it's very, it's hit or miss sometimes um, whether the story is going to be good or entertaining or nice, but then you can always look at the what artist and what writer is, is writing or drawing that story to really get a better idea of should you read the story or not. But I, I definitely recommend checking it out because there's so much good stuff in there that you really don't want to miss. So Heavy Metal Magazine from 1977 till now still making comic, comic content, you know, just, uh, you know, just even, even to today. So yeah, so those are the three different ones I, I really do recommend. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Click the bell if you want to be notified when I make another video. And I will see you guys in another video later.